What's up guys, David from Sunday Sounds here. Today we're gonna talk about what's new in Logic Pro version 10.5. This is a massive update to Apple's flagship DAW Logic Pro 10. Probably the biggest update to Logic since 10.0 was released. And this actually introduces a lot of exciting features for those of us who are focused on live music performance, specifically for those of us who are involved in worship music playing at churches. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of what I'm most excited about in version 10.5, the new features that I feel might be game changers for many of us. Now, to start off with, if you're not familiar with Logic Pro, it is Apple's flagship DAW, and it's incredibly value priced at only $199 in the App Store. It runs on modern Mac computers, and if you already own Logic Pro 10, the 10.5 update is a free update for you. And like I said, it is an absolutely huge one. To start off with, let's address the giant elephant in the room. This update really seems like Apple have their targets dead set on a competing DAW, Ableton Live. Now in the house of worship space, many of us are using Ableton Live already for the live playback of backing tracks because of all the flexibility that Ableton Live's session view allows, as well as all of the powerful automation that's possible in arrangement view. Well, in Logic Pro 10.5, the introduction of the new Live Loops workflow in Logic is going to be a huge step towards direct competition between Logic Pro and Ableton Live for those of us who need to run tracks live. With the new Live Loops feature, you can arrange and play tons of different musical ideas, clips, tracks, beats, software instruments, pre-recorded audio, and dynamically move between different clips, all while staying in perfect sync to the metronome within your project. The coolest thing is that you can run live loops right alongside the regular timeline view of Logic Pro. So you've got tons of power to record in traditional ways and also to sketch out new ideas. I'm really excited to see how folks who are focused on backing track performances are gonna take the features of live loops and fit them around a track playback sort of methodology. So this is a huge feature. Um, it really does appear on initial impression that it's very, very similar in terms of capability to Ableton Live's session view and you get it in a $199 package or free if you already own Logic Pro. Now, version 10.5, this update really does focus a lot on beat making, electronic music production, and improvisation features. And some of these features are gonna be really cool for us as worship musicians as well. Logic Pro 10.5 introduced a new step sequencer. There's finally a fully fledged step sequencer inside of Logic Pro. Many of you are using MainStage as well, and the general rule of thumb in the past has been if Logic gets a feature in an update, it's not that far behind that we'll also see that update come over to MainStage. So if you're a MainStage user, it would be a great, great benefit for us to get this step sequencer feature, hopefully not too far into the future. But even now in version 10.5 of Logic, it looks really, really powerful, super robust. There's also new remix effects added, which are really uh, hands-on, sort of in the moment improvisational effects that you can apply to live loops, that you can apply to different instruments within Logic Pro. Remix effects are really designed to be used with the companion app Logic Remote running on an iPad, but you can also use your mouse, you can map to a MIDI controller. This is a way to add rhythmic or sort of uh, deconstructive effects to the loops or sounds that you're manipulating in real time. There's also tons of drag and drop workflows that have been introduced in version 10.5. A lot of quality of life stuff that just makes it easier and faster to do the tasks that you're already doing. So you can very quickly create tracks, you can insert instrument plugins faster than you've ever been able to do before. This brings me to the thing that I'm probably most excited about in this new update to version 10.5, and that's the long awaited introduction of the brand new sampler plugin. This is a sort of version 2.0 of Logic's decade old EXS24 sampler instrument. EXS24 is super powerful, but it looked so dated. 
and over time we really started to wish it would get a big update and the sampler plugin seems to tick all of those boxes and provide features that folks weren't even anticipating or expecting. It is super modern looking. Everything that you could need to do happens inside a single window and there's tons and tons of new features that are gonna make this a dream to work with for sound designers. Automatic pitch detection, really, really simple multi-mapping of samples and the really great thing is that it's completely backwards compatible with all of Logic and Mainstage's EXS24 instruments. So if you're someone who loves to use Auto Sampler and Mainstage, or you've created custom EXS24 instruments yourself in Logic Pro, uh, Apple says you're gonna be automatically able to load these right into Logic Pro 10.5 and take advantage of the new workflows inside of Sampler. That to me stands, it actually has the exact same name as the Sampler instrument in Ableton Live. And right alongside of that, Logic 10.5 introduces the new Quick Sampler instrument. This is designed for uh, creating an entire instrument out of a single sample source. And the direct comparison would be Ableton Live's Simpler plugin. So in Ableton Live, you have Sampler and uh, Simpler. And in Logic Pro 10.5, you have Sampler and Quick Sampler. So Quick Sampler can just play back one shots, but you can also pitch map a single sample across the entire key range. This is also the new way that you're gonna be able to use Drum Machine Designer. They've replaced all instances of Ultra Beat inside of Drum Machine Designer in Logic with the new Quick Sampler plugin, and it seems really simple to work with, and like it gives you a lot of faster ways to manipulate the audio in the ways that you need. Another huge feature to Drum Machine Designer in general, aside from just the inclusion of Quick Sampler, is that you can now also take advantage of the new Drum Synth plugin that's been added in 10.5. Probably my favorite feature is that you can now just designate the notes that Drum Machine Designer is gonna be mapped to on the keyboard. In the past, it's always been a real pain to get the notes on your keyboard to trigger the samples that you want. Oftentimes you'd have to go in and remap, maybe use an instance of chord trigger, move samples around. Now you can just designate what input note you want to trigger which output note in the instrument that you're working in. So these are some of the new features in Logic Pro 10.5. And when it comes to the house of worship space, when it comes to us in churches, many of us are relying on Ableton Live week in and week out to handle all of these complex backing track and automation tasks. And I think in Logic Pro 10.5, we're really gonna see people pushing into those types of automation workflows, that level of complexity, but using Logic Pro 10. It's really exciting for me to think about as a main stage user, what it might look like to more deeply integrate the way I use main stage with these new features in Logic Pro 10.5. For example, I'm really excited to see what it might look like to actually load patches into live loops and see if there's a way that we can use the live loops view of 10.5 as patch management similar to how we might do the same in Ableton Live's session view. So I think this is a really strong and exciting next step for Logic Pro 10. I cannot wait to hear how you folks plan to use it. Let us know in the comments the feature that you are most excited about. And if you have anything that we didn't cover in this video that you'd like us to talk about in a future one, be sure to leave a comment and let us know that as well. Lastly, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because we put out new videos to help you and your worship team every single week. Thanks for watching and for supporting us at Sunday Sounds. Now, go download that update.